So now design VORM for this payment types. This one is transactions type, right? Transactions, yeah. Create new classes. We have payment here. Payment and the payment attributes. Payment ID. Payment ID. Amount. And one more attribute transaction time payment type payment type it is a secondary type payment type DD number so the relationship with payment type and DD is one payment should contain one payment type One payment should contain one two. One payment. How many types of payments it can have? One. One only, right? So the relationship is one to one. And why we require demand uh, dropped ID here? No. Under payments, it is not required. Actually, we forget to remove this. We have to give this one under demand drops DDs. So here it is. This use case is wrong. Yeah. This payment table ID need to contain under DD. Yes, here we have right. What happens if I put DD under payment? Every user must he need to give DD. Right, but it is not mandatory. So based on payment type, I can understand which type of payment he made. If it is a DD type, then by using the DD number, I can find. Yeah, based on payment type, we can find the DD. Got it, yeah. So under payment, what we should have? Amount to transaction time, payment ID, and we should have payment to type. It's a secondary type. Payment type is yeah, payment type. Under payment type, we have payment type ID, payment type description. Payment type ID, payment type description. That's it, right? Payment type ID, payment type description. And here relationship is one to yeah, one payment should contain. One payment ID. Many payments they can have? Same payment. Same payment ID. So then the relationship is one to many. We have one more. Insurance. Insurance types. Same like payment payment types. 
ഇൻഷുറൻസ് ഇൻഷുറൻസ് ഐ ഡി ഇൻഷുറൻസ് ഐ ഡി മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് പ്രൈവറ്റ് വെഹിക്കൽ ഐ ഡി വെഹിക്കൽ ഐ ഡി ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് യു നീ ടു പുട്ട് വെഹിക്കൽ വെഹിക്കൽ ഈസ് എ കാർ സോ പുട്ട് കാർ അണ്ട് കമ്പനി ഇറ്റ്സ് എ നെയിം വിച്ച് കമ്പനി ടേക്കിംഗ് ദിസ് ഇൻഷുറൻസസ് കമ്പനി നെയിം വെരബിൾ കമ്പനി നെയിം അണ്ട് ഡേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇൻഷുറൻസ് Where is it? Oh, sorry. company name and amount company name date of insurance amount renewal date renew date and the next one is insurance count what is it is version and uh, insurance type id in the sense insurance type you should take here insurance type secondary type so how many one insurance it can have one insurance it, it should have only one insurance type many insurances they can have same type Many to one. Insurance type. Insurance type. ID. And insurance type. A description. Insurance type description. insurance description one to many sorry here the relationship is one to many to one many to one relationship it is and we have one more demand draft one more entity we have demand draft dd demand draft dd number bank name branch name amount deposited date expiry date payment id 
means payment reference the reference one demand dropped should contain only one payment id right so the relationship is can many you need to cross check every time here like this um, can we can we give many demand drops under one payment so then many to one one payment id can contain multiple dds so that payment id reference we are taking under demand one payment should contain multiple dds by making the payment huh? Yeah, what I'm saying here. For a single booking, you would do the payment. Ah. Uh. So there is only one option of one. You cannot make. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, only one. But I'm saying what? In case if the booking charges are, if the if those exceeds, then my DD limit. Getting? If I book a car for one month, then. If DD limit if it is only ten thousand or twenty thousand, getting use case. In case if you want to book for long time, if one DD if it is not enough for that confirmation, then you should contain multiple DDs, right? You can contain multiple DDs. So the relationship is one payment can have any number of DDs. One too many. Here it is. Yeah. So payment types also over. payment <coughs> models i think we have two more right under payment models we have two more One, two, three, four, five. only five we have two more driver charges and vehicle charges oh we forget to add here but where are those driver charges and vehicle charges we designed it right schema design images also i think we designed this tables also Basing Visio are designed, but we forget to save. I think. Yeah. By using schema, I'll I'll try to write. Copy schema here. Driver charges and vehicle charges. And the coupons. We left three. Coupons also. Yeah, for vehicle charges we have vehicle charge ID. vehicle charges attributes we 
వెహికల్ ఛార్జ్ ఐడి అండ్ వెహికల్ టైప్ ఇట్స్ ఏ కాంప్లెక్స్ టైప్ వెహికల్ రిఫరెన్స్ వీఆర్ యూజింగ్ హియర్ వెహికల్ రిఫరెన్స్ వెహికల్ టైప్ రిఫరెన్స్ అండ్ అవర్లీ ఛార్జెస్ అవర్ ఛార్జెస్ పర్ డే హార్లీ ఛార్జెస్ పర్ నైట్ and we have hourly charges okay hourly charges for complete day charges and night charges day charges and one night charges one for one complete day for one complete night charges for week charges for month charges అండ్ వెయిటింగ్ ఛార్జెస్ ఫర్ మినిట్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఛార్జెస్ పర్ కిలోమీటర్ ఎక్స్ట్రా పర్ కేఎం అండ్ వి రిక్వైర్ టు హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఛార్జెస్ ఫర్ per minute waiting charge yeah extra charges extra waiting charge yeah this one is for waiting to waiting on a waiting charge waiting charge per minute right we need to take right setters and getters here <coughs> yeah then driver charges properties driver charge id 